So that's it. Wasn't that easy? Yes, you did. Yeah. A, yes. Sorry. Okay. Wasn't that easy? Hi everybody, welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Jody. I'm Tracy, and we are the Grocery Girls. We are. Today, we are talking Magic Loop versus everything else. This is gonna be great, because I feel like there are two kinds of knitters in the world. Yeah. There are people who like to knit things flat and seam them up, and there are people who like to knit things in the round. I agree, and I am a Magic Looper all day long. Right? What? How about you? I do, I love to knit things in the round, but there's so many ways to do it. So let's figure out what's the best way for us. Absolutely. Okay, I feel like there's a pro and con for every method of knitting. Absolutely, sure. Yeah. So if the like the circumference of your project is small, like a hat or a cowl or a sock, you have some options as far as yep. holding your stitches to knit in the round. So there's several ways to knit in the round. There are. So let's go over those. Okay, so let's talk about sock knitting, say, yeah. in general. The first way I learned how to knit a sock was on double-pointed needles, sort of like this. So that's a one way to hold your stitches in the round, where you're sort of yes. got multiple set of needles, and it really does make more of a square, but your stitches are all connected in one circumference. So, but it can be a little bit fiddly. You can end up losing a needle, or, you know, it's a little fussy. You know what I found with DPNs, and I, I do know how that method works? I would always pull what I thought was the working needle with no stitches. I would pull the working needle full with live stitches. Oops. All the time. Yeah. So, so it wasn't my method. It really wasn't. No. So I did knit one sock in my entire life on DPNs, and that was the end of that. And then I learned how to knit them on two circular needles. Okay. The method that I actually learned on okay. was two circulars. And for the longest time, that's the only thing I would knit it on. But then I sort of got to thinking, why am I spending the money for two needles yeah. when I can do the same basic magic loop with one? Right. So with the two circular technique, you've got one needle holding the half of your stitches on one circular needle and half of your needles on another, or sorry, half of your stitches on another circular needle. And when you're knitting with this technique, you always have to make sure that you grab the end of the right needle or you can end up knitting them all onto one needle that's too small. So yeah. it works really well, but you're right. It is cost uh, intensive. You've got to buy two needles to do it. Yeah. But it works really well. Works it's a well, great technique. Works well. I yeah. enjoy this method. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So this next method is my least favorite method to knit socks only because for me, I've got big hands and these are really tiny needles. So this, what we're talking about is an eight or it comes in a nine inch circular round needle, which lets you just knit in the round for a sock. And although it's super fast to knit yeah. in the round and there are die hard nine inchers out there that will only knit this with it's socks. It's so true. People that love this technique, are crazy about it, and they say it's super duper fast, but I find you have to tension your yarn a little bit differently, and I think it can change your gauge. I did try knitting a sock yeah. like this, and it was much looser gauge. So, you I mean, know, you may have to change that, and this is the um, the eight inch one, and I was like, I couldn't make it work. I couldn't I mean, do it, it. I mean, look how little those uh, needles are. Yeah, there's not much to hold on to with this method, but it is one that's gaining, I feel like, lots of popularity. I know, I just yeah. can't get my hands wrapped around it. <laughs> okay, next is Magic Loop. The big one for me is Magic Loop. This was life-changing for my knitting. It was for me too, and I feel like once you grasp the concept, and let me tell you, the concept is not difficult. Once you sort of understood uh, the mechanics of it and how you went around, this was a game changer. It was, and so I think it's called Magic Loop because you're resting half of your stitches just on the loop of your circular needle mm -hmm. while you're using the ends to work one half of your stitches. Right. It's really important like to make sure that you've got a big loop of, of your cord sticking out so you've got sort of that room to play with. Mm -hmm. And I find for socks, I need at least a 32 inch circular needle to, to knit properly on a sock. Yeah, I um, I do have some 40 sock needles, but I found the 40 inch way too, you just had too, unnecessary amount of cable on either side. Yeah. There's, uh, the sweet spot is 32 for me. Okay, well, that's good. I really like that too. So let me just say, for Magic Loop, I use this whenever I can. So I knit a ton of hats. Mm. So I always knit my hats on a 16 inch circular, so I'm just knitting in the round. When I get to the top, most patterns um, ask you to switch to DPNs. Yeah. And I will not. 
switch to DPNs, I just magic loop it. And you can really do magic loop for any circumference, yeah. as little as like six stitches, if you're starting something from a top down, whatever. To, so you can really knit your hat the whole way on magic loop. From the bottom circumference all the way to the bind off, yeah. you can do the whole thing on magic loop. Yeah, and again, and you can use it on sleeves on a sweater. You can. And I feel like that kind of makes things go too. There are a couple of little tricks with Magic Loop. You don't want to pull too hard yeah. on your, you know, in the seam in those corners of where you're switching your needle. Yeah. But that's true for anything when you're knitting in the round. I find with the, you know, when you're um, starting off a new needle, you just have to find the right amount of tension. Yeah, don't pull too hard. Yeah, but not too soft. There you go. Yeah, I love Magic Loop. I knit every sock Magic Loop. Uh, we'll show you how it works. Okay. So this is our magic loop method. We've got half of our stitches on one needle and half of our stitches on the other needle with our cord hanging out the back. Now with magic loop method, you are always working, um, your working needle is always the needle you're pulling from the back and working the stitches on the front. So I'm going to start to knit and I have about the same amount of cord on either side just so it's not too tight. So now I have worked all the stitches across the front and I'm going to turn my work 180 degrees to the right. I'm going to pull that needle and I'm going to get it back into the working position. So that front needle is going to go back into those stitches, just like that, ready to work. And now I'm ready to start again. I'm going to take my needle always from the back, pull that out and start knitting in the front. Okay, so that's it. Wasn't that easy? It was, it was easy. It's just a completely different technique and if you need some more help with it, there is a Magic Loop class on Craftsy. And down in the description box below, you're gonna find a link to a free trial membership at Craftsy.com. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us today, everybody, for all things Magic Loop. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up and let us know what's your favorite way to knit in the round. Absolutely, leave us a comment. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Bye. Happy knitting.